Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away and we now got issue 24 of Diagostini's Build Your Own X-Wing. I know, I'm aware I'm behind everyone on this and I'm plodding along with it, uh, but we are building another wing. We have done that before. This one's slightly different though, because uh, this wing seems to have hatches on it. Uh, let me just show you. We have got an awful amount of pieces in this one. Uh, and just like last time, we're going to be ex uh, uh, assembling the engine parts here to go in the base looking just like this. Uh, but this time, once they're all fitted together, we are going to be uh, sorting a hatch out, which is really weird. Uh, we didn't have that in the other wing, so obviously we're going to have another one of those to make next time. Uh, but there is a lot more to do in this issue. Uh, in the next issue, once again, we have to look in this little black section here. Uh, but it says uh, we're going to be lower port engines. We're still going to be continuing this wing. As a matter of fact, I don't think we're going to be coming out of the wing uh, for a good while yet. And uh, as people have already informed me, I think we've got this all the way up to issue 62. Four wings, remember. Now, before I start with this build, I thought we're going to address the crisis that's going on in the world at the moment, uh, because YouTube do let us talk about it now about demonetizing. Uh, all I can say is stay safe, people. It may not affect you. You may not even get any symptoms, but just remember it's affecting the people that you come into contact with who might not be so lucky as you. But I think the biggest message is don't panic and let's see if we can uh, get that old wartime spirit where everyone finally is kind to each other and helps each other out. Anyway. Let's cheer ourselves up. If you are housebound, you can build models till the cows come home. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so the first parts we need are the lower cannon housing, looking like this. And they're calling this one the uh, Retro Thrust Nozzle. I really do love the names of these things. Uh, as you can see, we've got a lug just there. And that's going to go into these holes here to keep that in place. So this way round, and we push that in. So it looks just like that, not falling out anywhere. We can put that to one side because now we're going to need the parts for the uh, engine components here, which is one, two, this section here, three, and then the two housings just here. So the first thing it wants is the other half of the gyro cone looking like that. And then if we hold this plastic piece uh, with the little indents this side, this is just going to go through these holes here. Now when we put it in, the uh, flat part of the bottom of this hat cone here is going to go to the shorter edge just there. So we can push that in, just like this. There we go, and that's in lovely. Then we're going to spin it round, and as you can see, we've got these lugs through this side now. We're going to do the same on the other side and keep that in exactly the same direction as we just had. So uh, line up these lugs, then push that together. So now it looks like this cone, oh, once it's in all the way, has gone all the way through. Then with the cone facing this way, show you on this camera, we're going to be putting the bottom in. Now this bottom, once again, has got some plastic mould lines in there, if you can see that. The way they've got it in the picture is with the mould lines facing down. So we're going to attach this just to the two lugs at the bottom there. Push that in, so that looks just like that. And then from that, from the top. Now they're calling this section the cooling vein. This is going to go into the hole here. Now on the end, you've got a longer pin and a shorter pin, as you can see there. It's the longer pin that's going to go into here. So we just push that in, making sure we don't bend it as we push because we don't want to break this piece off and then that slots in absolutely perfectly. That's not going anywhere. And that's some of the engine internals completed. Now we need to bring over the engine mount that we worked on in the last issues. They want it this way round because the first thing, like we did last time, is we're going to take the section we just made and we're going to put it into the groove that we just got in there. So let's push that in. That sits comfortably on its own. And then we're going to hold all of that in place by putting the surround on again. As you can see, we've got a lug just here and here, which is going to fit over these sections here. Now, this is going to be screwed in eventually. So if we line up the holes that it's going to be screwed into, make sure that the engine part we've done here fits into the recess that we've got just here. So we can put that on. Now, when we before we screw it together, we need to make sure that vein is in the hole at the top. So I'm just going to get that lined up. There we go. And that's now in the hole just into the top of that housing there. This is the first XWO screw here. It going in there. Once again, I'm using a wearer screwdriver. You really do need a screwdriver with a long shaft on these ones. As you can see here, we'll put the other side in. Make it nice and tight. 
and now that holds on by itself and that looks just like that from all sides now we want to take the rear lower engine casing which looks like that now at the bottom as you can see we've got four lugs here they're just going to go and match these two holes here now as you can see we've got two larger holes here which are screw holes so we line up the front lugs we put this into place just like this Ooh, a bit fiddly so it fits nice and tight and it does sit itself in there once you've clipped it in but it's also reinforced by those screw holes that i just showed you so once again in this issue we're just using xw06 screws no other screws and we've got the two screw holes just here and here to put these in so i'll put the first one in here and that's going to hold that lovely and tight out of all the x-wing uh, ones we've done this is quite uh in depth for this issue i have to say so uh I do like these issues. I, I've been finding this this one, apart from those pipes, quite an easy build. So it is nice to have a change where we're doing something different. Uh, but that's looking just like that. And then we're going to need the two parts for the hatches here. So to do that, we're going to take the part that's actually labelled here, number two, just down the bottom. And that's going to go towards this side of the uh, engine mount there. And that's just going to sit into the bezels that we've got here. It actually sits on its own. Did I say bezels? I meant holes. We're going to do the same on the other side. So that sits perfectly flat inside that area, just like that. Now with that door in, if we just turn that over, we need to keep this into place. And that's what these hinge retrainers are for. So we can see the hinges just here and here. But what we're going to do to keep them in place, we're going to put them over the lugs just behind. I've turned it upside down, just behind the hinges here. So this one, as you can see, is going to fit in just like that and once again it's going to be held in with the xw06 screws now it takes two of these so we get the first one in nice and tight and then now these hinges aren't going to uh, pop out when we open and close the hatch and we're going to be doing exactly the same thing to the other side hatch so I'm going to show you again, as you see, this one's now in a closed position. I'm going to open that again. And what we do is we put the hinge in here, just like that, pushing it in. We're going to close it, but we're not actually going to close it completely, because I want to make sure, let's try and explain this to you, there's a little lip just over here that the hinge needs to go in. I don't want to break the hinge, so I'm going to use my screwdriver just to help it go over this hip, lip here. And that's going to lock that in so the hinge is now flat into those sections and then once again to keep that in place we're going to be putting the hinge uh, guard to stop it going just over the top of the lug there and then once again we've got two more of the xw06 screwdrivers to go in screwdrivers screws god i'm having the uh, problems pronouncing my words today i think that's far too much coffee <laughs> so that's one and here's the last one. I do like the idea of these hatches. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously, the other wing down the bottom is going to have these as well. So you might be able to see some something in there, or some of the internals for that. But that is looking like that. And as you see, it seals itself, so it's nice and flat. And then when we want to open it, we can just like put our fingers in there and uh, open it up so we can see inside there. I'm really impressed with that. I really do like that. Uh, but that is all there is to do in this issue so there we go there's going to be another x-wing issue 25 should be out next week uh, tomorrow we've got the victory so we're going to be doing the next stage of the victory i'll tell you now i'm supposed to be building another 12 pounder cannon in there as well um i haven't got it so hopefully model space is going to send me a replacement now i have already built one of the cannons so uh, i probably won't be doing a video for that separately uh, if people want to see when i do that uh, you can just go back to issue one or two i can't remember what it was uh, but we are going to be putting the next supportive deck on so that will be on saturday but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe and if you haven't checked out my patreon yet you want to see all the behind the scenes stuff of everything going on then head on over to my patreon and uh, we can interact there it's a lot more of an intimate environment and uh, i just do all the behind the scenes and talk off the cuff very candid it is uh, about what's going on uh, the other thing is if you haven't entered the competition there is a competition going on as well uh, just check back in my videos it's model designs and you can win yourself one of these uh, tamiya racks here with the lack of paints but that competition's only open until the 25th of march uh, and we're going to be drawing it on the live stream on the 26th of march 
2020. Anyway, hope you like that video. Take care.